Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a massive luxury haul. I have a little bit of beauty and then a lot of accessories. And these are things that I've purchased over the last couple of weeks or so. But I am going to begin with beauty because just this afternoon, my Christian Louboutin order arrived. I picked these up from Nordstrom what feels like three days ago now. So I'm very impressed with the speed of the shipping. And this is how it came. This, I believe, is the eyeshadow, and then this is the refill of the face palette. They were just sitting in the box. And then I also ordered two of the cases because they're refillable. You have to order the case separate from the refill. There are three different eyeshadow palettes, three different cheek palettes. I got one of each. It was really hard to choose online because they all looked really pretty. So first, let me open these up. It's La Palette. I picked up both the red and the black, so I would have one of each. So this is the box. Looks similar to the Louboutin fragrances. <gasps> Ooh. And this is the black palette, the Noir. Mm. I don't know why I thought it was going to be bigger than this. I'm glad it's not because this actually looks like a decent size. If it was any bigger, I don't know, I just feel like it would have been less convenient. So I think this is a nice size. Hmm. So it comes with the little palette and then there's also, <laughs> this is kind of cute. It's a little Louboutin heel bottom, a little red bottom and it's a pin. And this is what you would use to change out your refills. Ooh, so on the back, red lacquered back that's kind of cool like the red bottom shoe there's a little hole right here so this is where you would insert your pin and that way it's a bit easier for you to change out whatever you want to put inside refillable packaging is a huge trend in luxury beauty right now i love to see it and i do like the fact that it comes with the little pin because it can be kind of inconvenient if you go to pop out the pan you have to find something that's the right size, but I do think it's so small. Chances are a lot of people are probably going to lose it <laughs> before they even need it. The compact itself is just magnetic, so it opens up. It says, from Christian with love. And then you have the mirror. I just double checked my receipt and each piece retails for $78. So the little refillable compacts, 78. The eyeshadows, the face palettes, also 78. I placed two separate orders so I could get two gifts with purchase, I know. So I'm not sure what the total would be. I believe both of my orders came out to 166, so that would be the cost of both the palette and the refill. I have to say, this palette is really nice. It feels really good. It's not incredibly weighted, it's not heavy, but it doesn't feel like cheap, lightweight plastic. It feels like a refillable compact, something that you would hold on to for a really long time. I really like the studs. I love the red lacquered back. That is such a cool detail. And it says Louboutin, and I love the little note on the inside and the mirror. I'm impressed with this. I wasn't sure what to expect. I was curious, so I wanted to go ahead and purchase, but I really like this. Now, if the product is crap, then of course it's not worth it. I've been so happy with everything from Christian Louboutin beauty wise. I don't have all of the products, just the nail polishes and the lipsticks and I really like them. I never tried any of the eye pencils, I've never tried the mascara. So there are other pieces that maybe they're good, maybe they're bad, I'm just not sure. But this palette has a bit of depth to it. I feel like you could probably just get this palette and use it as a compact if you wanted to and maybe store something else in here. I don't think you could store lipsticks, maybe bobby pins, something else. You could probably find a purpose for this if you didn't like the idea of the eyeshadow palette or the face palettes, but you still wanted the compact. It's really nice. Now, I'm gonna open the second palette. This one is the shade Rouge Louboutin. Ooh, it's so pretty. This is the red box. I liked them both, the red and the black. The aesthetic is very much on brand with Christian Louboutin Beauty, so I think they did a really great job with these. They feel really substantial. 
I love the little personalized note at the bottom. This is such a great little detail. The back is great. Everything about them is really cute. Oh, there's a little mirror protector. I'm gonna peel that off. Ooh. I have a fresh mirror now. I think these palettes are really beautiful. I love the box. I love the fact that it comes with a little pin that also has the little red stiletto. With all of their beauty products and their shoes, the details are incredible. That's one thing that I always expect from the brand. Packaging wise, they always hit it out of the park. The real question is what are the products like? I'm going to open them up. I'm going to show you, but I haven't taken pictures of any of these yet. So I'm not going to swatch anything in this video, but my review will probably be the next video I upload. It will definitely be up in the next couple of days, but let's go ahead and open up these palettes and see them. This exterior packaging is not nearly as interesting. <laughs> so you could probably pick up the palette by itself if you weren't interested in the products, but I wonder if you could pick up one of these and not the palette. Hmm. Okay, so there's a little card. It says how to use and refill the palette. Step one, open the case. <laughs> Go figure. And then to change the refill, flip your case and insert the key. Yeah, so you just stick it in there. Nothing really revolutionary. So it comes in this little plastic case with the logo on the top. It's the eyeshadow palette. Ooh, cute. Has a little protector. I'm going to hold on to all of these. And I purchased, it says the name on the back, Rose Pigalle. All three looked so nice, but I was really interested in this bronzy color right here and this purple and then the brown. I was just sucked into this one. It stood out to me a little bit more than the others, but all three choices were really pretty. Oh, and it looks so nice. And I love this design right here. I don't know if that's meant to be maybe crocodile or something embossed right on the powder. It does come with this protective case, so if you were interested in trying out the product but you didn't necessarily want to invest right away in the palette itself, you could just pick this up and you could store it just like this. It wouldn't be as pretty, but that way you wouldn't be shelling out $166 right off the bat. You could kind of wait, split it up if you wanted to. I cannot wait to swatch these eyeshadows and see what the texture is like. I promise the review is coming soon. I know it must be annoying to see the products and not see the swatches, but it's so pretty. And I spent a little over $300 on all of this stuff. So I need to properly document take some video, take some photos before I rub my dirty little finger in there when they're nice and pristine. So now let me open up this face palette. I picked up, I don't think it says, let's see. Ooh, so pretty. So delicate, so delicate, ah, of course. Kate, as in the So Kates. So Delicate is the name of this, and their So Kate is the name of their pump that nobody can walk in, including myself, because it's so high and so uncomfortable. But I think that is a cute little tie in. You have a really pretty, kind of warm pink blush on this side, a very pearly looking highlighter in the center, and then this is sort of a frosted peach, I would say, on this side. All three look really nice. And all of the face palettes looked really pretty. I was trying to decide which shades would be the most flattering and I thought this one looked the most wearable for my skin tone. So now you have a reason to subscribe. If you haven't done so yet, hit the notification bell. You won't wanna miss this review. It is coming in the next few days. I have yet to be disappointed by Christian Louboutin. I hope this isn't the first collection that is disappointing, but they look really beautiful. The packaging feels really great and we'll just have to see what it looks like on the face. That is the number one most important thing. But this was the gift with purchase that was offered by Nordstrom, this little makeup bag. And I like that it's a hard case because I use these typically for jewelry whenever I'm traveling. It says Christian Louboutin and this was with the purchase of, I believe 150 
which is why I placed two separate orders. So now I have two little makeup bags, but it's cute. Doesn't have a mirror or anything, but I think it's nice. I like the hard ones and I was just kind of curious what it would look like. Oh, and the little zipper has the red bottom. Very cute. I wonder, hmm, now I have to see. Mm. Yes, it does. So if you didn't want to purchase the palette, you could make sure you picked up enough to qualify for this little gift with purchase. And then you could use the little makeup bag to store your palettes, the products. But you'd still want to keep them, I think, in this protective case. Otherwise, they would get nicked and scratched and would potentially damage the product. And it's $78, so you want to make sure that you don't scratch it or mess it up. Next, I have a ton of designer accessories to get into, and all of these pieces were purchased on sale. And I love a great buy, especially if it's a designer item. This first piece I picked up a few weeks ago shopping with my husband, we decided to head over to Sawgrass. At first, we were at the shops at Brickell City Center, which it's okay to shop there. That's where I go to shop for all of my Chanel beauty. But besides that, you can't really find any good deals there. So we did one quick little lap. I think my husband went into the, what's his favorite store? He went into All Saints, couldn't find anything good. Everything was full price. They didn't even have a small sale section. And I said, let's just go to Sawgrass. And he said, okay. So we drove over and we spent the day there. He found the best deals. I think he basically updated his entire wardrobe. I only found this one pair of shoes from Saint Laurent, but I was just happy to find a really great discount. That's what excites me, especially if I'm not shopping for anything in particular. I will happily walk around and leave with nothing, but if I spot something that's just an incredible steal, then I can't leave without it. And that was the case with these shoes. The day we were there, it was so busy, and I don't know if maybe that's just summer and everybody's outside and everybody's coming down here for vacations but there was a line outside of every single store it was crazy luckily i was patient and i waited outside of ysl it was the shortest line so it took maybe a minute or two but it paid off because i found this great deal what's that so inside the box there's this little packet this is the second time I've been lucky at YSL and I found a really great pair of shoes that were deeply discounted. Now these are more of a fall winter style, but they had just got them in. So I know they are a recent sale item, which made me feel good about them. They're these gorgeous boots and they have this Western buckle right here. The last time I visited the YSL boutique, I saw a similar style, but it was more of a strappy sandal with a heel and it had this little buckle. I kind of feel like I should have got the strappy sandal because I would probably get more use out of those, but these look so cute on. I love the heel, I love the height, and I love this little Western detail. I just think they look so cool. Kind of a pointy toe. These were originally $13.95, $1,400 full price, and I picked them up for $300. That is a great deal. I know $300 is still a lot of money to spend on a shoe, but a full price leather boot from a non-designer brand is still going to be probably $200, if not more. I mean, Vince Camuto boots can be over $200, can't they? I want to say they are. So $300 for a pair of YSL boots that just got to the boutique that look amazing, that fit comfortably. I just couldn't pass it up. I will most likely style these with jeans, maybe a bodysuit, one of the express bodysuits I got, a cute pair of denim and these boots, and then maybe a jacket to wear out. But even over the summer, maybe with the right mini dress, the right skirt and top, I think these would be really cute. Maybe shorts and a top. I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear with them just yet, but they're black boots. So it's a classic style. They're not going to go out of fashion. I can basically wear these until they fall apart. So I love them. This one looks like there's a little bit of a scuff right here. It's not a bad scuff. It's something that would have happened, I think, wearing them one time. And I don't think they've ever been worn. They brought out a new pair from the back whenever I asked for my size. 
and the lady said they just arrived to their store so I think they're new they're not discolored both shoes are the same shade of black so they're already 10 times better than those nude pumps I picked up last year the shoes were all I left with on that particular shopping day, but about a month ago, maybe six weeks now, I placed an order on guilt.com for this next luxury item. They typically rotate their sales. They'll always have a decent inventory. If you're looking for something specific, you can just search by brand. Then they have their featured pop-up sales, and I'd received an email a while back for a vintage Hermes scarf sale, and I peeped the email. I opened it up, it was like Pandora's box, and I placed an order for this beautiful Hermes scarf. So this one did come in a box, and when I opened the exterior box, I gasped. I was a little bit nervous because this box definitely looks vintage, we'll say. It's scraped and scratched all over the place. The box is in pretty bad shape. It's nice that they held on to the box, but I was so nervous that the box was an indicator of what the scarf inside was going to look like. Thankfully, that was not the case. And you can see all of the conditions of the items. It's just like fashion file, the real real. Whenever you're looking at their vintage pre-love designer items, it will tell you if it comes with a box or a card of authenticity like this one. And it was listed as excellent condition, which I will not do anything less than excellent. And they also have to show you if something, and this is true for the bags, the scarves, anything, if it has a defect, they have to show you a photo close up. It should be very obvious what the issue is, why it's listed as very good or good condition and not excellent. So you just have to be careful. Just, you know, make sure you read the description. This scarf does have a tiny defect, but you really wouldn't be able to see it <laughs> unless somebody pointed it out to you, but it is so pretty. I love it so much. This is the scarf. It is 100% silk. And I love the blues and the gold, and it has this really pretty clock. Right here, you can barely see it, but there is a little spot right here where it looks like something happened with the fabric. Maybe it snagged, or it looks like maybe even like a little cigarette ash or something burned through. It's not a hole, but it's no longer blue right there. There are a few places where it does say Hermes, but I just thought it was so beautiful. I love the colors of this particular scarf. On guilt.com, I paid $350 for the scarf. No tax, no shipping. But if you were looking on the Hermes website, which you can scroll and they have beautiful scarves, they're typically five, $600, $700, depending on the size. This one is 36 by 36 inches. Those are usually five to seven hundred dollars if it's a larger scarf or maybe a different material they can be upwards of a thousand dollars as well so it goes up from there you're not going to be able to purchase it for three hundred and fifty dollars three hundred and fifty dollars for an excellent condition vintage Hermes scarf I think is a really great steal another great detail along with very close photos of the scarf it tells you the name of the scarf and also the artist who created the design so this is the Hermes Parmi Les Fleurs by Loic Dubijong and if you google that name you can read all about him he was an Hermes artist like no other and it shows you all of the different scarves he created for Hermes you can't see that many wrinkles, but I'll probably have it professionally steamed. I would be too afraid to steam it myself. That way it lays flat because the reason I was in the market for an Hermes scarf is because we're currently redecorating the living room. Well, I am currently redecorating the living room. We just got a new palm plant for the corner. It looks beautiful. The anthropology mirror that I ordered a couple months ago was finally delivered. And I got this idea from somebody else. I can't take credit. A friend of mine mentioned that she had received an Hermes scarf as I think maybe an anniversary gift or a birthday gift. And she was going to have it professionally framed to hang on the wall as art. And we don't have any art hanging on our walls. And I thought, what a beautiful idea. And the last time we visited Nemecolon in February, when you walk through the halls, they also have a bunch of Hermes scarves. They had one that was huge and it has a giant H for Hermes but my married last name is Hayward. So I thought that one would be perfect. I don't know if my husband would like a giant H hanging on the wall, but I do think we need a little color. And then 
I kind of went down the rabbit hole searching Pinterest and you can see a lot of different room ideas where people decorated their walls using scarves. Not necessarily Hermes, but because Hermes uses a lot of artists to create one-of-a-kind styles that are bright and beautiful, it is kind of the perfect idea. So that is my idea at the moment. I wanted to see it in person, make sure it was still in excellent condition, which thankfully it is. I still need to measure the wall and figure out how I'm going to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to hang just one scarf or if that will look sort of funny to just have one scarf. I've seen several room ideas where they hang maybe two or three, but I did want to take advantage of the Hermes scarf sale. It just was serendipity that that popped up and I was able to find one that I really loved. That sale ended. Now you can still find a couple options, but the selection isn't quite as good, but I did find a few other scarves that I really liked. So I'm gonna show you what those look like. I'm thinking about maybe doing a series of three frames along the wall because it's a really big wall and it will be opposite the TV. And like I said, there's nothing there right now. It's completely blank and it's such a big space. I think it would be silly to hang one little thing. So this one has a nautical theme. I love the colors, the pink, the blue, the greens, and yellows. I think it is very tropical and it has water, which makes me think of Miami. This design is also tropical. It's a Hawaii theme. So it has this beautiful tree and birds and a luau gal and it says aloha. I'm finding decorating to be a bit difficult, but I tried to pick out scarves that I thought we both would love and really enjoy seeing on the walls, but also pieces of art that kind of tie back to us in our relationship. So the Hawaii scarf, it says Aloha, our honeymoon was in Hawaii. And the boat has to do with water because we live in Miami. And even the clock scarf, one of the clocks has London time and my husband's English. Next, I picked up a couple swimsuits on sale, all one pieces, drastically marked down because it is so hot outside. It is time to start planning beach trips, pool trips. We're talking about maybe a weekend in the Keys sometime soon. So Love Shack Fancy was having a big sale for Memorial Day weekend. They had an additional 25% off of their sale items. And I saw this cute little pink one piece that has the low neck, but it has these cute little ties, these little bows up at the top. It's a really high quality material. It looks so cute on. I tried it on already. It fits perfectly. It has a little ruffle at the belly and it's kind of high cut on the legs, which I really like. I've been on a one piece kick lately. I don't know what it is, but I just thought this was really cute. I can't wait to wear this. And it was originally, I think, probably 150 or so and I got it for a little less than a hundred dollars for a good bathing suit especially Love Shack Fancy I thought that was a nice price and then these one pieces I picked up from eBay of all places I was searching the Camilla website if you're not familiar I think the full name is Camilla with love she's a really popular brand beautiful designs but everything is insanely expensive the kimonos are like six seven hundred dollars that type of expensive. But her swimsuits are incredible. And they're usually two to three hundred dollars. I don't know how I ended up on eBay, but I found this seller who had a ton of her swimsuits, like a bunch of them, that were still wrapped. All of the tags, everything's still on. It looks like the tag says final sale in marker on all of these tags. So she probably found a bunch of these on sale and figured she could just resell them on eBay since it's such a popular brand. They were listed at 150, but I put in an offer at 100 and she accepted the offer both times. So I was able to score both of these for a hundred bucks. They still have all of the tags. So this was originally $299 would have cost me $300 and even the sale swimsuits on her website are above 200 200 and above so I think that was a really great deal her designs are all really colorful these beautiful prints but then everything has little rhinestone details so I'm going to show you the close-up this was the first one I bought I tried it on it fit perfectly so comfortable this is the back it's really cute so this one has a low back kind of a low neck and it has this little metal detail right here. 
At first, I was a bit skeptical buying a bathing suit online, but it said new with tags, and she had pictures of everything to show all of the tags still attached. It was, in fact, authentic, and then even the little hygiene sticker was still there, and everything was wrapped as if it came directly from the factory. So again, I have no idea where she got all of these swimsuits, but she had maybe close to 10 swimsuits on her page. So as soon as I was happy with this one, I went back to look for more and to see what other prints I really liked. And this was the only other one I picked up. But I thought this was so pretty as well. It kind of has this tribal boho thing going on, really cute. And then it has more of a crochet halter top. It doesn't go down quite as deep and it does have the low back and the higher legs which I think is nice, especially for a one piece. I think if it's a one piece, it should have a higher cut, maybe a low neck, low back, something so that it's not just a bodysuit. No, something to give it some details and some style. I saved the biggest item for last. This was my big summer splurge, and now I'm not going to splurge for a very long time. It had been a while since I had had a splurge. I think maybe February, whenever I picked up my Chanel makeup bag, which is so beautiful. But it was, again, on sale, just like all of these items. I didn't pay full price. That's how I justify it. <laughs> but I just couldn't resist. So this, this is a bag that I picked up from Gilt. Gilt and Rue La La have been destroying my bank account. Every time I get the emails, I know I should delete them, but I open them and the deals are so good. I end up getting sucked in. So I had been looking for a white Fendi tote and I keep searching and I keep searching. I believe that is the current season, so it hasn't gone on sale yet. The tote that I originally wanted has not popped up yet, but this popped up and I just thought it was so beautiful. It's called the Large Sunshine Shopper Tote from Fendi. They have a couple different sizes. The medium is really big as well. I kind of prefer the medium, but the large will do, especially for a straw tote, because this is going to be a summer bag that I will use to take with me on trips. I believe it was marked down from nearly 3,000 down to close to 25, and then I had an additional discount. So really I paid about 2,200, which is a lot of money, especially for a straw bag. But considering it's currently at Bergdorf Goodman's for I think 3,100, I think that's pretty good especially for a designer item like this. As long as I keep it in good condition, this isn't ever going to go out of style. It really is the perfect summer bag. I love the black and the gold details as well. The black and the gold with the straw, I think is so pretty. This is going to look so chic with a ton of different outfits. I can't wait to style it. Why I decided to finally purchase the bag is that I was searching and searching and I found a blog post that somebody did on this bag. And it's not a blog I follow, I just happened to click on it to read somebody else's opinion on the bag. And she said she really loved it. She took beautiful photos with this bag, showed the hardware, the inside, talked about the lack of pockets, the fact that there's an option for a shoulder strap. So once I read through her blog post, I kind of felt more comfortable buying it online without seeing it in person first. Still has the little Fendi tag attached as well. And then the inside doesn't have any pockets. It's just completely open. So I will probably get a bag liner from Etsy, the way I did for my big Louis Vuitton on the go bag. That way I will have something down there to protect it. I really love everything about this bag. I love the colors, I love the design. The black and gold hardware is beautiful. It just looks very luxurious. And that completes my luxury haul. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.